2024, the state of the comic book industry. I think in 2023, a lot of people slowly but sure, surely, some people late to the party, started to realize a lot of the problems that uh, plague the industry. OK, um, and it's a top to bottom issue. Now, of course, there's still those that are clinging to this idea that everything's fine. It's never been better. But again, more and more people are mentioning that, hey, there are fundamental problems with the industry. OK, people are looking at this direct market. I've been making this point many, many times. I've made this point many, many times that the direct market never made sense. It was a, it was a logical and uh, there is a reason why the biggest beneficiaries are the biggest companies. OK, even though it may have originally been seen as some way for independent folks to get eyes on their stuff. Those days are no more. The technology has greatly changed and the economic model never made sense. Unfortunately, though, a lot of people have thought to um, <laughs> replicate it foolishly. Let's say that. And so you have there being some because, you know, comic books are closing. It's coming with shops. Excuse me. Are closing down. They're closing down there. A lot of them are being more open about, hey, man, I can't sell this stuff. Uh, they're having to get by on selling stuff that aren't new comics, right? Games and stuff, uh, especially with tabletop. So people are really sh starting to understand. Okay. 2024. I think is going to be a year where it's going to be even more painfully obvious and maybe there is a big shakeup. What that shakeup looks like, I have no idea. But here's the thing. I think that you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with the with the issues. Yes, there's content problems, but there's also the economic problems. OK, um, yes, the biggest again, the biggest beneficiaries of the current direct market setup, especially in how comic books are distributed, are really companies that are able to sustain and absorb several losses amounts of losses just crazy just crazy amounts of losses that's what it is that you're gonna have to do oh that's what it is they can do let's say that so it, what you what you have to do is change that and if there is to be a change because everybody put their eggs in this one basket that means that it's going to be upended once that change happens and not everybody's gonna make it on the other side I'm going to say something that may get me a little bit of heat, but I'm just being honest with you. Rip reverse. Look, we have a great relationship and there are some people that have updated their economic models and how they thrive. Shout out to I've seen Lone Star Comics. Well, mycomicshop.com over the years start to adjust how they do things. I think they're going to be the ones that last. Guys like that. But if you were to ask me, hey, well, if the direct market sort of changes and, you know, comic book creatives or comic book uh, publishers start to change. What place do, do the comic shops play in it? My answer, I don't know. And I'm not saying, hey, I want them to close down. No, no, no. What I'm saying is just like the publishers have to adjust, they're going to have to adjust too. It's just the honest reality that has to be accepted, has to be embraced so that it doesn't hurt so bad once the ine inevitable happens. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what place they have. I don't know what place the current distributors have uh, be that, that eat off of this, right? Like diamond eats off comics. That's they, they used to have all the comics. They eat off of that. I have no idea what happens. I, if people start adjusting how they do things, I have no idea. It's going to, that's the beautiful, beautiful thing about economics is that you can't actually predict it. I get it. There's a bunch of Keynesian economists that think they can. You can't, you can't predict it all, right? There are economic laws that exist. There is economic law. So you can, you can predict it to a degree, but when you talk about markets and markets adjusting, what that new innovative thing is, in terms of how comic books are is existing as a, as a market and as an industry, nobody can predict how exactly it's going to happen. It is going to be more like the wild, wild west. I'm fine with it. I've told y'all a million times. 
if things fundamentally change, and let's say, granted, that's not going to happen, but let's say before the Ripperverse was a thing, let's say it never was, and I'm starting my thing, and let's say everything switched, everything changed, people are making adjustments, whatever, and then there's this newer version of how the comic book industry looks like. If the Ripperverse didn't have a place in it, it would still be a necessary change. So with 2024, I think that everybody needs to come to terms with with the economic reality. Yes, more people are talking about the content problems, but let's talk about the economic issue as well, which leads with the content problem. But it's not the only issue. OK. I think everybody from top to bottom. Creatives, especially the creatives, because the ones that are worth a damn, you're going to be looking for work. And there's going to be work out there for you for the guys that have figured it out, something that works for them. Creators need to accept this and embrace this. Publishers need to accept and embrace this. Fans and how they get their comics are going to have to embrace and accept it. Many already have. But I think a lot of folks have been clinging to a, a very, very, very old model. That doesn't work. It really never did. Right. Again, it was it was some people that benefited from it. And just because people were getting paid does not mean it was profitable. Those are two different things. You have people that, you know, these companies definitely with Marvel and DC have always been, for the most part, tied to a bigger company. A parent company. So this is what it is that I'm saying. Adjust. Embrace the adjustment. And let's see what happens. But I do think in 2024, there's going to be some massive shakeup some way, somehow. And even if it's something as simple as let's say Warner. Discovery said, you know what, we're shutting down the publication. We're getting the license game. We're not making any money. We're in debt. We got to start pitching pennies here and we got to be be a little, little more smart. We can't absorb. We can't treat y'all as a loss leader anymore. We're not making money here. You know how how disruptive that would be to the industry? That would change so much. That's, the, that's a, a significant part of the market share that no longer is doing things the way that they had been before. I'm not saying that that's going to happen. I'm just saying it could be that. Something like that happening, that would fundamentally change the entire industry. So we'll see what happens. Alpha Core number one's pre-order is live. Written by the legendary Chuck Dixon and penciled by Joe Bennett. Visit Ripperverse.com to grab a copy and any of the merchandise items. Be sure to also check out the animated trailer for the campaign, which is the latest project from Ripperverse Studios. Y'all be easy.